Yet they have like this weird kind of, you know, understandable purpose. You can come through. <laughs> Hi, I'm in a different location. That's because I now have my, a studio at the art garage again. I'm Tree and this is Project Transparency. See the wild lane in her natural environment. <sighs> making <laughs> the song of her people. <laughs> but yes, this is this is our studio. We're sharing a space because that's ever ended well for us in the past. We have ten foot by ten foot space to try and not kill each other in. It's amazing. So obviously I'm back in my studio at home and I got caught up in working yesterday, got a little art done, got moved in, went and had pho, so you know, that's always good. So it was a good day. But what was really cool about it is that I got to see firsthand my friend Steve Bowles' mechanics exhibit as he was putting it up at the art garage. And he let us play with them to make sure that everything was working right. And here is that footage. This is Steve Balls. He's the one who's made these kinetic artworks that you're going to see. And he's a total goofball, so hi. And we're going to have show you some of the kinetic stuff he's been making. And it's up at the art garage through March. If you want to come play with it yourself, say hi. Hello. <laughs> It's like parts will be like a giant robot that's been found in the ground. So this big hand I'm working on will actually be like a hand sticking out of the ground. It'll be half of a face with an eye and a foot and just parts of a giant robot. So they'll be large, very, very big pieces. So, and you're welcome to crawl on them and stand on them and move them around. The hand will be articulated so you can move the fingers around. It'll be all full of mud and everything else. The dirtier, the wet it gets, the more broke. More broke, that's not right. Then if it gets broke, that's all the better. Hopefully there will be more things like this at the art garage that I can bring to you all. Because, you know, Green Bay maybe isn't like the biggest, best, whatever art place. And Wisconsin in general is kind of, eh, once you get out towards the provinces. But we try. We may not have the diversity of work that exists in other places, but... The art that's here is getting bigger and better all the time. So hopefully I can bring you more of that. Bye. <laughs>